Right now, interest rates are higher than they've been in close to a decade, and buyers are looking for any way they can get some relief. So today, we're going to talk about assumable mortgages. We're going to go over what they are, how they work, and what the advantages and disadvantages are. So stay tuned. An assumable mortgage is a mortgage where the buyer can step right into the seller's shoes and they take over the mortgage base, the interest rate, the repayment schedule, and any other criteria that's been set by the lender. These are not available with conventional loans, but FHA loans, USDA loans, and VA loans can be assumable. Now, certain criteria does apply. For example, with FHA loans, it must be the seller's primary residence. With VA loans, the buyer does not necessarily have to be a member of the military, but it does need to be approved by the regional VA office and the lender. With USDA loans, the buyer has to be approved by the USDA and the seller cannot be delinquent on any payment. There are certain advantages and disadvantages to assumable loan. First notable advantage is that if the seller is locked in a lower interest rate than the prevailing market rate, the buyer has a huge advantage. For example, if a seller got a VA loan back in 2020 and locked it in at 2.75, well, that's a huge advantage because right now, interest rates are around 6.25. So that's the first notable advantage. The second advantage is the buyer might be able to skip the rigorous process of getting approved for a new line of credit. And the third advantage is that if the seller has a loan type that is assumable, that might be very marketable when he goes to sell that. Some notable disadvantages are, number one, if the mortgage base that the seller holds is lower than the sales price, the buyer has to come up with a difference in either cash or a secondary loan. Now, in order for the buyer to get a second note, he has to get that approved by a lender, and many lenders are going to be hesitant to be second note on a mortgage because in case of default or bankruptcy, they get left out to dry. So the buyer either has to have a good amount of cash on hand or get a secondary note approved, which can be a challenge. One thing to note is that the seller may be held liable for payments that the buyer fails to make unless he has a signed release of liability approved by the lender at time of assumption. If you're thinking of selling your property and you have an FHA, VA, or USDA loan, talk to your lender and your real estate agent about how you can market that because right now that could be a huge advantage in today's market. This is Jesse with Collins Properties here in Santa Cruz County. Thanks for watching. I hope you found value in this video. If so, please show the like button some love. My contact information is in the description below if you have any questions. And until next time, stay awesome.